ponerme una guitarra de, 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 Welcome everybody to uh, the Joystick Show. I'm yes. your host Bobby Rosario. Joining me today is my co-host Dylan Diaz. Hello. Here to bring you episode 31. Yeah, we're we're gently speaking. Fuck that NPR yeah. shit. Welcome to the Joystick Show. We're feeling great. Part, actually, <laughs> part of me likes that. You really? Know I, mean? I know. I was about to say yeah. I actually fuck with NPR yeah. so hard. I fuck with any any type of you know AM podcast or video of... where the guy is just Calming. gently. Yeah speaking about a topic but like it's educational but also like you know like inspirational can't wait things. to hear that back in post and see if i have the potential for the, for the <laughs> soothing voice you hear thing. it you're like ooh, maybe joystick like, oh shit <laughs> joystick's gonna have to get into some new content maybe we gotta get into some audiobooks or something oh man Man. Remember that time? This is super random. But remember that time we were in your dad's car and we were going to the comedy show and there was an audio book yeah, yeah, playing. Yeah. So we get in the car and just max volume, just audio book, yep. <laughs> like, like mid sentence. What the fuck? <laughs> the air was quite dry. That was for the uh, this guy show, the Mike Kaplan. Yeah, show. Mike Kaplan. That was a funny ass night. Yeah. The funniest guy there was that Asian comedian. Oh my god, that guy was. Hysterical. I low key wish I remembered his name yeah. because he was like one of my favorite people that I've seen recently. Yeah, I have no idea what his name. Gotta was. go back find the set list. Yeah, <laughs> that was an interesting night, for sure. Yeah, that might have been the last time you and me went out to do something. Me. That now was a that I very think, long time. Ago. Now that I think about it, probably was. I don't think there is a another like event that we did. Yeah, we, we went comedy to. show, concert, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it was that. Wait, it was that was because that was after the Brockhampton show too. Yeah, I think so. Yes, maybe. I think so. Perhaps. Because if that's the case, then yes, that was the last thing we did. Okay. See, now I got to go back and check. Not that we don't hang out, obviously. We no, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just, it's not, it, we hang out a lot, you know, just in my room. Yeah. <laughs> we don't ever, like, go out to do stuff. Yeah. Because introverts, you know, mm-hmm. that's how it be. Exactly. And even if we want to, it's like, could we have to coordinate that? That's kind of hard to coordinate. Oh, for sure. It's yeah. hard enough to coordinate to get people here to just do this. You know <laughs> yeah, I mean? even then, it's like, eh. You guys want to go to a concert to see some, Like, we don't even have somebody that we all communally listen to. Yeah. Brock Hampton's is probably about it, the biggest one. It was just the middle ground that yeah, we all Yeah, and found. it's just like you, me, and Jerry. It's, yeah. So. Yeah, interesting. So we got to find a group singer band. Yeah, I mean... I'm pretty sure we could uh, all find someone that we uh, like a banjo band. <laughs> we all just we all get into sea shanties. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> go down out. go hear down to the local dock. <laughs> we were talking about this the other night while yeah. you weren't here. I was telling the guys, I was like, when are we gonna get into some fucking sea shanties? And Jose oh, started okay. looking up some sea shanties, bro. Yeah. I want to just be able to pull one out, you know? <laughs> just like we're hanging out at a bar or something, and then all of a sudden it's like. Yo ho ho with the pirates <laughs> in perfect harmony. But, yeah, but everyone, right? Not just one person. Yeah, it's yeah. Every, everyone at the bar. Exactly. Just perfect harmony of of ye, ye old fishermen. <laughs> it's choreographed. We're all like hitting our pints of beer together to the beat of the song. <laughs> well, that's the thing that also annoys me is that like sea shanties are also kind of like miscategorized. Because I remember I, I've also at one time looked up sea shanties, and a lot of them were like drinking songs, and it's like that's not the same thing. No, that, okay. No, no, yeah, I know what you mean. And then there's drinking songs, and there's like British drinking songs, and there's Irish drinking songs, which are better. And then there's hoedowns. Yeah. Which are, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I've ever heard a hoedown other than from Who's Line. I don't think there was any other mm-hmm. circumstance where I would have heard something like that before. Yeah, that's a Ryan Styles' favorite game on Who's Line. Is that yeah. <laughs> and by that I mean it was his least favorite game. Yeah love who's line i want to watch all of them again they're on some they're on a streaming service that i have i just don't remember which one they were i mean they were all on youtube for a long time oh yeah mm-hmm. and i just i was just they've always them. been free which is cool i forgot what network got them i think it was like pick uh it's not they're not i don't think they're still called pix 11 are they still called pix 11 i'm pretty sure it's yeah for it, it used to be it was pix 11 then it became cw 11 yeah and then yeah, it went back to pix and then it went back to the pix though crazy yeah i remember upn 9 old school channel wait isn't that isn't that the what's it called that's like the chicago 
channel, isn't it? That was like the one that uh, they always joked about being like the African American channel. Oh, there was always like a lot of uh, black sitcoms on it and shit like that. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know what you're talking Uh, about. Drew Carey used to threaten fucking this guy on whose line is it anyway? Uh, Yeah. What's Wayne Brady. Wayne Brady. It was like, yeah. we'll send you to UPN. <laughs> <laughs> also, what did it have? It just had like Martin and stuff. Well, yeah, I think yeah. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I remember it. I used to watch it way back in the day. I don't remember what it became though. No, I think it just went away. No, there's it's, there's a different channel on on nine now. What's New York's channel nine? It's called. Oh, oh! It plays King of Queens eighteen yeah, hours. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's called My Nine. My Nine. My <laughs> yeah, Nine. Yeah, 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 my yeah. Nine. They're, there they're you go. News and everything. There you go, Dylan. Let's go. Oh man, My Nine. <laughs> <laughs> I know because it always is playing. Which I, I I love Kevin James, right? I think I used to watch Yes, Dear on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Still standing. Yeah, you remember yeah. still standing? But like, that's the thing is that like I love Kevin James, but like after a while, King of Queens just it, I've I actually seen, never liked King of Queens. I I liked it, but it. It just I've seen I've seen it too much. Mm-hmm. It's I used to watch my wife and kids on that. Oh, my wife and kids. Damon Wayans. I miss Damon Wayans, man. That motherfucker's funny. Damon Wayans. Yeah. Yeah, he's great. Have you seen his son? Son looks like exactly Wayans like. Junior. Yeah, he, he was, was in something, wasn't he? He was recently. He was in like a big movie. Because I remember seeing his name written, and I'm like, oh, it's him. <laughs> I think that's the thing I saw, and I was like, oh man, he looks exactly like his fucking dad. Yeah. Oh, speaking of that, um, freaking. This thing came out, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Oh, yeah. So, 2 is finally out now. But uh, this isn't, uh, I guess, spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't watched it yet. The, the f- end of episode 1 reveals that there is a new Captain America. And it's not can, Bucky or Falcon. Oh, it's can, like a, can, I, can I have a question? Yes. What does that mean? What do you mean? There is a new Captain. Like, there's a new person wearing the Captain America suit okay. with the shield. The government is calling him Captain America and okay. sending him on missions and shit All like right. that. But it's a different guy. It's a different guy. Okay. Uh, his name is John Walker, but he's played by a guy who looks familiar. And I found out he is the son of Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. And he looks exactly like his dad, Kurt Russell. Whoa. And he used to be a hockey player. Whoa. I meant to bring this up to you. Wait a minute. Yep. What is this, has he been in stuff before? Like, yes. His okay. breakout role was as uh, Channing Tatum's friend in Twenty Two Jump Street. Like okay, I remember him. Yes. The long hair yes. Guy. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Insane. That. Yeah. That that those two people had a kid. Yeah, and, and then now, he played hockey, and then and now he looks Captain like Mike. his dad. Okay, that's, that's no, yeah, high. the whole wide jaw and everything. Yeah. Like I hope. Uh, I hope he's in some big stuff then, mm-hmm. like beyond For Winter sure. Soldier. Yeah. If I. I I know that Twenty Two Jump Street was like his first breakout thing, and now he has this. But there was another role in between that I I remembered him from too, and I was like, oh shit, yeah. So I know this guy. He's in the, he's been in stuff. Yeah. So yeah, big Hollywood actor. I, that just reminded me because I remember when I, <laughs> I it was like one of those Snapchat things where it's like, this is how you know the new Captain America, and I'm like, I gotta click it, you know, I gotta know how I know. And then the those, first picture is Kurt Russell, and I'm like, yo, he looks exactly like Kurt Russell. And then it's his son. Yeah, that's I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Shout outs to those Snapchat things actually being useful for yep. once. Mm-hmm. Hate those things so I much. I accidentally click on the spotlight almost every single day, mm-hmm. and it's the worst thing. It's always it's like, like it's bro, the it's worst. Like, it's like the worst video. It's like a TikTok or something. And it's I'm always like, like some dude missing an arm. It's always like it's always like some it's like, dude a, who it's, could like do, a, it's like a girl twerking too. It's always like a dude who could do like a triple backflip standing. It's like a dog who can open the door. It's like <laughs> shit I don't really need to be seeing. Like we just migrated America's funniest home videos <laughs> to Snapchat. The funniest somehow. thing about it, right, is like there's this one you ever heard, you ever heard of Stay Tuned? It's like the NBC yeah, 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 one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch it all the time. I don't know why I have a Snapchat and never use it. Like, okay, I, yeah. I fucking. I snap you once a week. That the funniest uh, shit. Hundred <laughs> percent. Dylan Diaz is probably one of legitimately only two people I you like actually use for Snapchat. Yeah. Like, I don't even Snapchat my girlfriend. Yeah. I Snapchat Dylan no, and my coworker no, no, Ashley. No, no, no. I, d- I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't use it for that. I either. just, <laughs> I just snap Dylan. That's it. We just snap pictures of, of ourselves at our desks at home when we miss each other. But uh, but I have Snapchat, and every morning, I don't know why, I open it up, even though there's nothing there to open. No. Like, it's not like I have messages or anything. It's just I like to watch your, that your, news yeah, thing. Your brain was just like, hey, oh. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like programmed at this time, right? Like yeah. open it up, and I watch. Because it's, it's good. It's, it's NBC. They just like lay out all the news headlines that have been happening. Yeah, and, and it's like, mad quick. Catches yeah. me up. Perfect. Uh, but then my brain just kind of forgets and decides to watch everything after that. And it's all just not anything I should be watching. Just junk. Just junk. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I see it it's just like when I built a rocket propelled sword and I'm like, all right, I when, guess I got to fucking see when you wander on. It's a dark play. Like even now, like I'm, 
I'm not, I'm not gonna pull it out now, but uh, it's pretty bad. Like your, <laughs> a lot of your YouTube polls? No, just the the Snapchat. Uh, the, oh, like the actual? Yeah, like the tiles. They're mm-hmm. always the. It's like oh a, yeah, a tons of for some reason. Like once a week, there is a uh, a little person bodybuilder. <laughs> And that's a very common theme. Yep. For it's, some reason, they I have just this love... series about like people with deformities. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like I was born with a third arm, and I'm just like crazy. <laughs> it's just like I didn't want to watch yeah. this. It's just also it's also Ripley's. Bl- I, I, you know what? I see why people like it. Maybe. Next thing you know, but the thing is, is, I sit there and I watch all of it. <laughs> I watch all of these, Dylan. I literally stay in bed for like half an hour watching everything, and then at the end of it, I'm like, Why did I just? <laughs> like I kid you not, I watched the deformity video. I watched the news thing. There's another thing I, I watch. I kid you not, it's just like Russian Olympic. It's just like Russian athletes. It's literally just like people flipping in ice lakes, and I don't know why I watched that for like five minutes. That's a interesting day. though. That's actually pretty cool. I love a good winter sport. It's uh, I, I don't know. My Snapchat is very weirdly tailored to, <laughs> to what I guess I watch a lot. Yeah, very interesting. A lot of like fitness ones too, where people like lose a bunch of weight and they're like, "This is the new me," and then they like talk about their new life and shit. There's like I have one about. No, I think that's the same one. There's like, <laughs> yeah, you're getting mixed I'm, up. I'm, no, your brain's like, just gonna start creating different there, there's fake one where realities. Like, uh, no, there's one. It's called something, but it's not only for like weight loss. It's for like other weird like family lifestyles and yeah. stuff like that. So they have like ones where there's like families with like two moms and two dads that all live together okay. and shit like that. Or like that's pretty cool. I think they have like a, a per two cousins who date each other or something. It's like weird stuff oh. like that. Like different insights and stuff like that. So I'm just like, why do I sit here and watch this? <laughs> it's like. Uh, that's the worst. Yeah, man. I got to find a better use of my morning time. A uh, hobby. <laughs> it's funny. Wednesdays are the only days that I don't do that because I wake up and I edit the po- I, I, I upload the podcast. Yeah, you finish all everything up and then put but it But every up. other day, it's just me and the, that. And then I yeah. get to fucking finish the five to, oh. to seven minutes on Snapchat, go to yeah. Instagram. No, I, that's my problem is I start on Instagram and it's always the worst thing to wake up to. You know, like I, I follow that. I follow everything now. I did a huge unfollow purge the other day. I mean, just to get rid of like 80 people. I was like, I don't like this person's posts. Yep. I can unfollow them. Uh, and I did that with a bunch. But uh, I thought I kept all of the good people. Turns out every morning when I do turn on Instagram, it's always something I don't want to see. It's a meme that's like really gross or a meme that's like really out there. Yeah. Or it's like some surreal abstract thing where my brain is like i don't even fucking understand am that. i still asleep <laughs> and this morning and today when i woke i woke up at like 10 o'clock 10 30 it was a woman a uh, model see-through shirt mm-hmm. semi-see-through and you could see her nipples and she's like you could call these things james the way they harden <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, good morning. <laughs> and you woke up to that. I woke up to that. And that's not even a bad one. That's like one of the good ones, right? That's fine. <laughs> but there's tons where I wake and it's a meme about like peeing or some shit where I'm like, come on. I, yeah, I got to pee. <laughs> but it's just like, like no news, nothing substantial. It's that. Sometimes it is. Like I remember that's how I found out originally about, we, the, you know, we've talked about him on the podcast before, but the guy who shot himself in the nuts or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it was there was a bunch of memes on Instagram about a guy who shot himself in the nuts, and I went, <laughs> yep, <laughs> and I had to Google it because I'm uh, like, what's this nuts? What's meme? It? And I do that all the time with memes where I'm like, it'll be about like a current event or something, and I'm like, okay, let me look that up. What is this about? Yeah, and it always like, do you know about the Suez Canal thing? Which everyone, yeah, 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 everyone ass- or assumed. Because of my geopolitical history that I would know about what was going on. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, everyone's like, oh, Dylan knows, like, where the Suez Canal is. He knows what's going on. <laughs> and I'm like, I d- d- boat stuck, man. <laughs> Dylan knows where it is. Dylan he knows kn- what's going yeah, on right now. And I'm now. like, I do boat stuck. <laughs> I just like the idea that just because you know of the location of an area of a place, you or, automatically or know what's happening. And there. I also, I'm pretty smart with, like, history and, like, current events and stuff. So I think people just assumed and i'm like no but i fucking love the memes yeah like hey yo girl i'm stuck in the suez <laughs> like it's just like stuff like that where i'm like yeah like it'd be like that and i remember i saw one with like it was like uh curb your enthusiasm music oh you know that one and it was the one the one like excavator that came to dig out 
yeah, like yeah, stuff yeah. and it was like bro that's like the tiniest thing <laughs> i saw one that i was like some people make mis- people make mistakes every day but not everybody makes a mistake that's visible from google earth and then it was like the google <laughs> earth picture of the sideways fucking yeah. tank or thing. oh my god i remember do you know that like canals actually like lift boats up Dylan, I don't know the first thing about canals. I'm going to oh, be honest okay. with you. I don't what? even know what a canal is. I'm assuming no. it's just a waterway. I don't know it, it is, the specifics it's of a it. Man, it's man-made. Man-made. Yes. Got it. Uh, and usually it's made like – it's like you have to get like uh, – they charge you money. Mm-hmm. Cause it's like a like, toll, basically. Yeah, but it's like a lot of money. Mm. Like it's like per per uh, container. Oh, shit. So it's like if you're a cargo ship with thousands of containers, you're paying like thousands and thousands yeah, of dollars. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what they do is they like they lock you into like an area and fill it with water, which rises you to the canal. Weird. Yeah, because it, it was like uh, Panama's like elevated or whatever. Interesting. Yeah, damn, it's weird. And Suez is also was this like shit that. Built. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we did it. No, I know. It just yeah. blows my mind. And then in the Suez, I think they just like as it was going, it was like making a turn, and then it got like stuck in the. Th- I don't know. Fucking poor guy. Hope he's yeah. okay. Good thing, good thing those cargo ships are, like, mad fucking nice. Yeah. Like, not really, but, like, I remember I got recommended a video on YouTube of, like, what the lunch looks like. The lunch on yeah. one of those boats? Yeah, yeah, like, what they eat. And they had, like, a whole, like, chef and, like, a menu. Oh, shit. And, like, fruit in the morning with, like, a whole thing. I'm like, yeah, this is mad fucking nice. I want to work on a cargo ship. <laughs> Before when you said you got recommended the video, I first, my brain just filled in. You got recommended a cargo ship. And I just, I, my brain just took that on a whole fucking thing of you just, like, looking at a cargo ship to buy. And that would just be amazing if you just <laughs> showed up with a fucking cargo ship. That would be incredible. That's, like, some GTA level energy, you yeah. know? Where it's just, like, that's where I make my money. It's like, oh, yeah, I have a cargo ship. <laughs> it's like, what? It's like, yeah, it's, like, half owned by me and the it's, other it's half. It's next to my helicarrier. Yeah, it's next to my helicarrier, both half owned by the Swiss government. <laughs> it's like, what? Damn. What's your favorite, like, uh, this is mad random, but, like, your favorite, like, rich person flex? You know, like, you watch, like, a tour of, like, mm-hmm. a rich person's house, and they're like, yeah, we got this here. Bro, the crystal and the fridge, like, every, <sighs> bo- every episode of MTV Cribs. Yeah, even though, bro, MC, that was, like, the saddest fraud when it turned out, like, 90% of oh, them. Oh, those are cri- rented out? Yeah, those? 90% of them are rented out. Crazy. And I'm just like, man, my dream, like, I really wish, like, I remember even Carlos Mencia brought his, like, car collection there. But uh-huh. it wasn't his house. But it's his car collection. It's like his car and motors like collection. I'm, that's and I'm like <laughs> so much work, <laughs> so much work to just not show. Oh, it's not clean. <laughs> like <laughs> just clean your house, man. <laughs> but like you see someone nah, just like have like flex. I don't like. I would love to have like a fridge of like my drink. You know, I know that's not like a thing I can do now. What do you mean your drink? Like, like you have like a vending machine. Uh-huh. in your house but it's like of just like whatever you want you know what i mean stuff like that or someone's like oh i really like monsters so i have like a monster thing. i thought you meant like you made a drink oh and then you have that, like your own fucking... that'd be cool i mean that'd be sick too. that'd be you know? cool i have a, i have a factory i have a cargo ship i have a whole Look fucking i have gotta, a whole corporation to bring it everywhere you're set dude <laughs> fucking uh now nah, i always think it's cool whenever they have like big fish tanks like abnormal, like you know what I yeah, mean. Yeah, like, violently like, yeah, large. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I thought that's always sick. There's this guy. Funny enough, I think I've talked about it on the podcast before. There's a show that I I get lost in all the fucking time. It's called Amazing Interiors. Yeah. And in case I've talked about it before, just to really quickly pass by it, just a normal fucking show about houses that look pretty simple from the outside, but when you walk inside, there's something like crazy yeah. on the inside. So there's this guy from I think it's Israel. Who, uh, if they don't mention it in the show, but you can, you know, Google it and find out more about him. It turns out he's actually like a CEO of a tech company in okay. Israel, and he retired, and he like retired with like millions of dollars, and he built like the third largest privately owned fish tank in his living room, and it's like so big that he can actually scuba dive in it to like maintain it, what? to clean it, the to feed the fish, fuck? and all that shit, and he has to on like a like a weekly basis. That's that is a commitment to a hobby and dude you know yeah that's what he says people think he's like crazy but he's like i love these fish it's like my thing i come here and i sit and I, that's in front of the tank for hours a day <laughs> and he's like it's like a lifestyle like going in to take care of it and it's crazy he has like a side room next to the tank this. that has like an acoustic treated door because on the inside it's just pumps and machinery putting all the chemicals into the thing and shit like that all right i think uh 
I think I got, not only do I got to wa- watch this, you but think I, you know what we're watching after the podcast. But I want a fish tank now. Yeah, that, right. that is a flex, and it's like that's cool. Yeah, it's go uh, hang out with some fish. He said it like he pays, every Friday we go diving. <laughs> he pays like an enormous uh, he uh, electric and water bill, obviously, to like fill the tank and yeah. like, keep it running. And apparently, he said that. The only two people who know how to properly maintain the tank are him and his son. So because of that, they can't ever like be away at the same time, because like they always need one of them to stay there to take care of the fish in the tank. Right, that's so much fucking work. No, yeah, right. <laughs> it has, but it's cool. Like a bunch of the controls are from his phone. He can like check the pH balance and adjust the level straight from his fucking iPhone. And it's like, damn, that like, is cool. I mean, that I I like I love that for anything. This, like this I'm fish a tank technology. I'm a sucker for tech like i always want to do that like in my future home but i'm afraid that it will get outdated very quickly yeah right like to make my house tech friendly and like set up all this hands-off stuff mm-hmm. and then in five years it's just there's like, something else oh it's yeah just... no don't set it up with echo there's you like just this think other thing. it you know what i yeah. mean just like oh play up oh, it's already playing yeah. perfect it's like <laughs> amazon brain link oh that no the, the elon <laughs> the brain has that has the brain link but yeah like uh i always love like tech shit like that like people do like the smart mirrors Oh, those are cool. Yeah, yeah. you've shown me. I've seen them before, too. Mm-hmm. I, I kind of, I don't know the first thing about building one of those, but it'd be sick to have yeah. one. Bob, uh, I don't know I how mean, to fuck with, uh, what are those things called? The raspberry pies? Bob, I mean, if you need, uh, you could pay Dylan Diaz. I uh, could. Good sum of money. Yeah. Buy a mirror from a garage sale. Mm-hmm. Maybe invite Jose over to, like, maybe cut a piece of wood. <laughs> cut a piece of wood. <laughs> Not that I'm bad, but, you know, handshake sometimes. Maybe yeah. I get my brother for it. <laughs> <laughs> get the boy Corey. yeah appreciate it get the construction going but yeah i remember there was this one guy who uh he got a little bit of hate even though it was really cool he made like this had like hundreds of functions this mirror that was a smart mirror but it was also a touch screen and someone yeah it's like what the and someone was like you know that it's gonna get dirty and yeah. then you can't see yours <laughs> and then he was i was like that's a really good point. <laughs> yeah, I would have made it a touchscreen. I just like the ones where it, like it's a mirror, but then it shows you like the weather. Yeah, and it news. Shows you, like, news highlights. Yeah, I think that's me- fucking sick. You run Spotify through it. That's and some, the thing, like, uh, yeah, some Iron Man shit right there. And it's and on a what's it GitHub, which is like a coding website, mm-hmm. they have all of the pre-written yeah, so you stuff. Just so you just copy and copy paste it, it yeah. and make sure it's formatted correctly. And now. You know, because I've read that they're not like impossibly hard to make because that code is all there. Yeah, it's you don't have to like know how to knowing how to yeah. code mm-hmm. really, which I've done. Which I've done before. I was going to do um if I got a Raspberry Pi because when I built the Dill Cube, which has come up many times now, mm-hmm. uh, I did it with one that already had a power button on it, got and it. uh, well, actually, no, it doesn't. So actually, I could do this. It has one on the inside, but. Uh, you could program it to have a power button that works, mm. and I'm probably and um, I want to do that. Yeah, I don't cool know the stuff. first thing about this shit. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, it's really uh interesting. St- I stuff. somehow fixed a Mac and yeah. built a PC. You did that step by step, mm. but it was very strenuous. It took how, oh, I was gonna ask you how long it took you to build your PC, but then I remember we had that whole fiasco. <laughs> oh yeah, you were there for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you there for that? Yeah, I was there for that. At the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I built the. It took me about. Four hours. Okay, I think I mine, mine like, took me about two or three. It's I started at like four, and then I think at around like seven thirty eight, I is when I like closed up the case and I put everything on, and it wasn't working. It mm-hmm. wasn't like blue screening. And I was like, "What the fuck?" And which then, is the which is the worst feeling on many levels. Yeah, but the main reason why it feels so bad. Oh, there's a speaker on. <laughs> Sorry, that scared the shit out of me. Maybe it was listening the whole yeah, time. Right. But what was I saying? Uh no, you were talking about the uh, what were we saying? <laughs> Before we got fucking thanks a lot. Oh, fucking stupid ass. I speaker. love my attention span. No, we were talking building about... the PC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's the worst part is that you spent fucking mad money on all brand new parts. Yep. And now you're like something what doesn't the, work. What the fuck doesn't work? No, but huh? it was because when when you got there, Jose kind of like started looking at the parts, and when he took the processor off, like the corner three pins were bent, and mm-hmm. I was like fuck because you know they always say like if they're bent it's fucked up mm-hmm. you gotta get like a new processor and it's like shit but jose was like nah you have a lead pencil yeah and i was like yeah fucking gave this guy the lead pencil and he bent them back into place put it in my pc's worked like a charm ever mm-hmm. since mm-hmm. wonderful stuff they say I, they always tell you you can do that but then if you fuck up the pins that's it yeah and and actually the, the cool thing is you know that you don't need every single pin 
Really? Yeah. Only uh, only on each AMD or Intel, certain pins activate certain things. Mm. So it's like some of them are just like, like AMD. It's like the middle twelve or something. Oh, I didn't know Intel, that. it's like every other one or something like that. So you can have one with like three missing, and it still might work. I have an AMD. Same. Dope, dope. Jose wants to build a PC. Makes sense. Everything's yeah. just kind of like migrating that way. It's good to have. To, I mean, I I have the micro PC now, which runs actually super well, mm-hmm. despite its size. But like, I'm my old PC. I sold off half the parts, but I want to build a semi new one. Yeah. Yeah. I just I, need a new motherboard. But I look. You want to get some like, <laughs> some like not efficient, just like some case lighting. You know what I mean? Just oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, my PC had the uh, all of the fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine like, just has my processor just has the red ring, <laughs> which is cool. Like my computer looks like. I don't know how to explain it. My computer just looks like a machine, you know, like a sci-fi machine because it's all white with that red little ring. Mm-hmm. But it'd be cool to have some more shit going on there. Maybe I'll keep it all red. You know what I mean? Just keep that minimalism, minimalism, minimalism going. Yeah, for sure. I like going. that. You ever see when they have like those super liquid cooled PCs? Oh. It, just, it looks like there's a fucking like science lab in this I, guy's Yeah, I mean, case. that's how I built my PC to begin with is that – Every PC YouTuber just makes porn. You know, they yeah, make yeah. like tech porn yeah, and they shoot yeah. it in 4K With, like, and the liquids are the moving. RGB everywhere. Yeah, and everything's oozing and it's like dun, 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 and it's like the lights look cool. I watched PC building videos for like three months and I'm just like <laughs> like I got so mad, I was like I want this. I remember I was working at my last job and I kept checking my bank account to have a certain amount and I was just like I'm just, and then I decided I was just going to buy all the parts when they went on sale. Yeah. So over the course of three months, I bought all of the parts of my PC and I had them just in a, in a pile yeah. in my room. And then I'm like, I did the opposite. One, one buy. Just, they all came in one day. Yeah. I had a big old. That's cool. That's better. Of course. It was like Christmas. It was yeah. fun. <laughs> and it was crazy because I was like always trying to find, I was getting like half off gift cards. I was finding like every method to yeah, like yeah. save money. Oof. A lot of a lot of new eggs, Tiger Direct yeah. stuff. Oh, new egg. New egg is a very interesting place. It's so back to amazing interiors. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. I mean, I lo- like there was there's this game. Have you seen a uh, House Flipper? No. It's a video game where uh, you just like you buy you like do like the okay, rehab so, uh, on houses. I thought this was a show, and I got excited. Okay. But okay. Yeah, so essentially it's just like a video game and it's like you buy the shitty house and you have yeah. to clean the house and decide how to like make it a sellable house. No, yeah. Again. Bro, I don't know what it is. I used but to make fun of my mom for it all the time. I'm so into those shows. They're now, all man. really, really good. I hate myself for it. Why? They're I, good. I spent all my life making fun of my mom for it, bro. I was like, oh. how do you sit here and watch HGTV? Granted, I don't watch HGTV, but any show on Netflix about interior design, I'm just like, and yep. I'm just there fucking for like 10 hours. There's one that I hate, but I watched all of it. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. I hated Dylan. And I watched all of it. How do you? I can't do that. It was, uh, it was okay, so to be fair, it was with Betta. So it was like okay. she was watching it. And it was one of those situations where like it was a work day. So I was doing some joystick stuff. She all was right. working on lesson plans or something. So we have just like the TV running. And it's not like we're actively listening or watching it. Mm-hmm. But I don't even, I couldn't even tell you what the show's called. Mm-hmm. But I watched all of it. Yeah. Uh, so the the, uh, the the premise is there's a woman, blonde white woman who's like the interior designer. She yeah. like made and what's funny is I was my coworkers were talking about this exact same woman in this show and I it sounded familiar and I was like is this the woman da 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 and they were like yes I hate her and I was like I hate her too and uh, point is is she's like an, an she's like a big interior designer she gets paid to like travel around the yeah. world and do all this shit or whatever, um, but like she has very what's the word like um, specific taste it's not like uh okay. it's not like it's not always a situation where like she'll talk to somebody and be like we'll try something different it's like always like like her thing is she loves white so she's like we're gonna do this all white and it's just like every single episode it's something white and it's like bro Which, by like, the way is horrible for any type of interior thing yeah right. it, stains it stains and it's not exactly. great yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah. clean it a bunch it's not the some weight is good for sure, but, but like, but let me break it. Let me get it to like my 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 favorite things about okay, the show. Okay, yeah. Sorry about that. This mix is being a little bitch for some reason. I don't know why. It's like it does this thing where like even though it's plugged in and everything's recording and stuff, 
the computer will be like, oh, we don't recognize it anymore. And then it just stops recording. Whoopsies. Yeah, so to go back to where I was saying, uh, I have one big gripe with this interior design yeah. show. And it's the fact that uh, she only really like does one section of the house oh. per episode. And oh, it's never okay. really like fulfilling. You know what I mean? Oh, that sounds like that doesn't sound like anything. So like like the first episode in like the season, she does in a she does like a project for a basketball player. Okay. And she ends up doing like a whole fuck. They he does she, they do her his bedroom, so like that's yeah. like the one room he does. But he acts he wants like a whole like he has like a whole basketball court like attached to his house. Yeah, that he also wants to like open to the community, so like kids can use it and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But it's like mainly his complex type of thing. All right. But he had her come in and like interior design it or whatever. So she put like wooden rafters in it and white, obviously. But like you know what I mean. It was cool because she has like a big project. So you yeah. watch that first episode and you're like pretty cool. But then every other episode, it's like, we're just going to work on the living room in this random person's house. We're just going to do the kitchen. So it's like. That's not even. That's one room. Yeah, exactly. There's like one episode where like this guy has like a guest house room thing. It's really just like a room with a bathroom. And she ends up turning it into like a living space for his mom or something. It was cool. But the same thing. It's just like it's not a lot. It's just kind of like one little Mm -hmm. thing. And I guess that's kind of stupid to criticize but it, i just take it for granted when you watch other interior design shows and they do like a fucking mansion no and no like, i mean there's a there's shows that do like three houses an episode no yeah yeah, yeah so I mean. so it that's not a lot at all that's like a youtube video qual like worth but can i tell you what my absolute favorite thing about the show is what? my absolute favorite thing this woman has a husband yeah uh couldn't tell you what his name is don't know these people no i looked it up and apparently he's like the ceo of not only that company like the interior design mm-hmm. company, but he's like the CEO of like another company. So he's kind of like where the money comes from. And then she's like the, obvious the interior design like expertise comes from her and she's a creative mm-hmm. person on the, on the team, but he's in the show. Yeah. He's like, he gets just as much star time as she does. They interview them together. They have kids. They play with the kids. He's got to be the weirdest fucking guy I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. And I love him, bro. Like he's he's he like laughs and smiles without smiling. He'll just be like, uh huh, <laughs> like joke, yeah. Like he says the like he like he kind of looks like the wife has a gun pointed to his yeah. head, and he's like, I love you. <laughs> like it's, yeah, he has like he eats cereal all the time. That's like his thing on the show. He just comes in with a mug eating cereal, and he's just like, I love my cereal. Yeah, there's like a whole part devoted to it. He's like, gotta have my cereal every day, you know. It's just like. What the fuck is this? He's show? by far my favorite person. Wait, on the show, so it dude. starts with them at home in the morning? Yeah, it always starts with like them. What? Yeah, there's That's like weird. There's like one where their kids. So it's are a reality like, show about yeah, their yeah, life. Yeah. Yeah, big, it's more about them than it is about them actually like interior designing. You know what I mean? Oh, but it's fucking. That's alive. fucking trash. I hate this show. <laughs> Fuck this woman and her family. This is such Bro, a but that show. guy's great. Oh yeah, he's he's wonderful. I love that him. guy who shows like very little emotion. Man, he's so great eating his cereal. There's like a part where they're like playing with a slip and slide in his backyard. He's like, we're having a great time. <laughs> Just like, like I wonder where that guy gets satisfaction yeah, from. Right. You know what I mean? Like you, you have millions of dollars presumably you're yep. doing well you have a tv show you got a business you have a business i know his wife is like the star or whatever yeah. but he's on it and he's just kind of like yeah cereal <laughs> <Stereo. laughs> like, like no i'm gonna play like fucking buy some crazy Dude, I have superfluous to... yeah pull, pull these people up i have to find this shit um Netflix. do we even know the name of the i'm gonna type in like netflix interior design show hmm. i think it's interior no what are the amazing? No, amazing interiors is the one that I fucking love. Yeah, that's the good one. Stay here, no. I just watch a good architectural digest video on YouTube. Those are all real good. I love those videos. I like the open doors where they go to like celebrities' mm-hmm. houses. Did you yeah. see the one with binging with Babish? Yep, that was so cool, man. I showed that one to my dad because I was like, you know, like we do a cooking show on YouTube, or we're going to be doing it pretty soon. Yeah. And it's like, you know, look at what could come of, like, YouTube. And it's kind of cool because he says that in the video, too, right? He's like, I just wanted to do this to show you, like, what you guys gave me type of thing. Because, mm-hmm. like, it's insane. Dream Home Makeover. Oh, my God. Interior Design Masters. Nope. Oh, I don't like this chick. I know everybody likes this chick. Yeah. Mary Kondo. She's, like, the the queen of, uh like, dis- like getting rid of clutter and organizing and stuff like that. Oh. But I'm not crazy about it. It's like it's weird. She just gets like paid to come and monitor people cleaning their rooms. <laughs> like, that's very yeah, that's fucking strange. My mom loves her though. 
The Apartment? What the fuck is The Apartment? The Apartment is a great show. We will get into this in a fucking second. Can we get into this? I think they film it in like the Philippines it or looks, something. It looks insane. And it's it amazing, looks, Dylan. Okay. It is incredible. I have, I have seen, seen all of season two. I haven't seen any of the other seasons. I have not seen The Apartment. Me and my, my girlfriend found that just like one day I've and watched all of it. Yo, what the fuck is this show? It's actually going to drive me bananas. Hold on. I have to go to Netflix now. Back me up. What? <laughs> I said, back me up while I look up this fucking show on Netflix. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. <laughs> what? Don't tell me what to do. So don't do anything, Dylan. Let's just be <laughs> silent on the podcast while I look for this fucking show. Take it away. <laughs> it's really sad. I never asked you. We never. You never asked me uh, what's up. It's kind of sad. Well, it's because we hung out before we did the podcast, yeah, and so I asked we, you what's up before we hung out, and you told me about... Out. Actually, yeah. you know what? It was interesting. What well, yeah. what did you do this week? Tell me yeah. about your sociology exapades. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I had a lot of fucking homework, because, you know, a lot of professors are lenient with, like, dates and stuff now, especially after COVID. Mm-hmm. So, like, for example, in one of my other classes, no one does the homework until, like, three weeks after, because there's no real, like, lateness mm-hmm. penalty. So, in this class, everything was due at t- tonight uh and tonight came very quickly <laughs> over the course of like two months mm-hmm. and so i realized i had to do a minimum of like 20 homeworks in that Jeez. week and i did them all in a day and a half you're crazy bro and i i was panicking so i started doing a couple of more just to be like i did just to make sure I did well. What's kind of funny about that is like you're, I feel like out of anybody that I know, but specifically out of like our group of friends, you're like the non-procrastinator by far. You're like the one who gets the work done real quick. Uh, I it, I mean, it has to be close to when it's due. Uh huh. Like I can't do it like a week beforehand. You know, like I have to do it like the day it's due or the day before. I think I found it. Yeah. Yep. I'm sorry, I was listening to you genuinely. Okay, no, 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 it makes sense, yeah. But I think I found it. All right, I want to I wanna see it on the... All right, let's see. I want to see, I wanna see my dream husband. All right, so it's Dream Home Makeover. That's I've se- Bobby? You've seen this? I've seen, I've seen like, snippets of it. Like, yep. I've seen, like, memes and stuff of that's this guy. That's him, that's him. Uh, <laughs> what happens if I type in this show and then, like, cereal? Like, imagine it's just him eating the cereal. Ah, oh, that would have been great if it was just him with this cup of cereal. <clears throat> I promise I will screen grab that from an episode. Like, yeah, he's a young guy. He's like, you know, but doing it's just well. So fucking funny. Today. Gotta have your cereal. <laughs> but yeah, we can talk about we can talk about uh the apartment. The apartment. Maybe. Okay, because the only apartment I know is the the movie The Apartment. Which one is that again? It's like the guy. It's uh, what's his name? The guy who directed some like it's some like a hot. Oh yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Old school. Oh, my knee just super cracked. Ooh. Oh, that one actually hurt. But it, it sounded good. good though. It did, but it, it hurt a little good. bit. Like it was like the funny. What the fuck is the apartment? Philippines. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, I serious business, Bobby. Pretty sure it's filmed in like the Philippines or Malaysia or uh, South Southeast Asia. Yeah, 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 or Pacific Islands. While I while I talk about it, I'll look it up so that I don't I don't botch a lot. You don't you don't get everything it's wrong. It's not just like London or something, you know. Yeah, it's like in America. <laughs> but it's like a show where they get a they get a bunch of teams of two. Like a bunch of duos, you know? All right. And they, they get, like, an apartment complex. And every single duo gets an apartment. Mm-hmm. And the apartment has, like, a bathroom, kitchen, two bedrooms, whatever, right? But it's a it's reality. An it's like a reality. <laughs> yeah, it's an apartment. But it's a reality competition show where every single week they're challenged with designing the interior of a different room in the apartment. Okay. So it's like this week we're focusing on the kitchen, the bathroom, blah, blah, blah. And then they also have like a like a theme that they have to do. It's kind of like Ink Masters for apartments. It's weird. So it's like they, I, I they, like that. There was one episode where they have to do like the bathroom or something, and they all has to be inspired by different like painters. So everybody gets a different artist painting, and then they have to like color scheme and like style Ooh. all from like that painter. So they have there's one with like Andy Warhol, there's one with like Rembrandt, all like crazy shit like that. That's sick. Um, <laughs> we're, we're, look at my Rembrandt bathroom. <laughs> no, I actually want to know what country it's filmed in. I don't want to like just pick a random one. It's filmed in. It says Asia. Malaysia, Malaysia, okay. country of origin, Malaysia. Ooh. Yeah, so it's like that. And every week they're tasked with like designing a different part of the apartment, and whoever gets cut that week leaves and then the remaining teams until there's like one left okay and i think the winner gets like a full-on house so it's a competition Mm -hmm. okay 
That's fun. But it's, uh, I feel it's, like the best reality show is a competition show. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, in the sense that, like, other competition shows are kind of, like, goofy. This one is very, like, competitive. Yeah, like, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's, it's super there's serious. There's no, like, laughing matter. It's, like, every team is out to win. Every team is just cool. focusing on a couch, like. Yeah, pretty much. Is this, is this the one? Is this the color? It's, yeah. What's really cool is without spoiling anything, there's, like, one team that you wouldn't really expect to do well. And then, obviously, in the beginning, they, like, fuck up super hard, but they end up, like, staying because somebody does a little worse than them. But you actually get to see them, like, get really good as the show gets on. And they end up losing, like, third round before yeah. the end. But, but it's crazy because the judges are even, like, we're, you made it really far. Like, great fucking job. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool, actually. Yeah, for sure. I have so much shit to watch when I get home. <laughs> yeah, right. All interior design. Yeah, I did, like, okay, here's fucking... Have I told you about Instant Hotel? Yeah, we. Yeah, I remember. I yeah. remember. I came over one time and you were watching. That is my Hotel. favorite fucking show, dude. That's the best show ever made. <laughs> it's the best show ever made. I don't know about that. That's probably. the best show ever made. I would. I would argue. It is the greatest show ever fucking made. Put dude. that on a fucking poster. You I'm know gonna, why? I'll I'm tell gonna. You. Buy, I'm gonna buy a subway ad yeah. and it's gonna put it be a photo of you. <laughs> yeah, it's it's gonna, it's <laughs> Instant Hotel is the sponsored greatest. by Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll tell you why Instant Hotel is the greatest show ever made. Right? Yeah. Premise of the show. They get like five teams, couples, whatever, to stay yeah. in each other's Airbnbs, right? Yeah. And then judge each other on how well the stay was, how well the visits were, what they did, this, that, and mm-hmm. the other, right? It's a reality show. These people cut each other's fucking throats. Yeah. And the best part about it is it's Australian. It doesn't get better than that, bro. So it's just like, oh, I might, you fucking, like, it's I, great. I do. It's, Australia is a, a place of wonder. It's fan-fucking-tastic, yeah. dude. The, the teams are incredible. I can't even, like, it's literally like. I've it, seen some episodes. The so best I way I could describe it is the show almost looks fake, but it's yeah. not. Of course not. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. a great thing. Yeah. It's like you really found people like this. And the best part about it is there's one couple who's mad normal. Yeah. On like every season, they always just get one couple that's just like, we're here, we like it, it's nice. But then all the other couples are just like weird. Are have crazy, something with. Yeah. yeah. There's like something going on. There's a whole, but there was that one couple that's just like, we're just normal. We I feel kids. like you need that in everything though. You need you need to establish the constant. You yeah, need to yeah, yeah, you yeah. need to have like someone that's like some semblance of normality. You and need then, like the Mario in your roster of characters. Yeah, and then just like <laughs> the all around type of. The stats all look good. Yeah, and then you're just fucking wild card. Mm-hmm. Did you ever watch uh, Storage Wars back in the day? <laughs> oh, I watched a lot of Storage Wars, but always just like when it was on. Yeah, I thing. never actively yeah, wanted yeah, yeah, to yeah. watch Storage Wars. And I Wars. liked it, obviously, when it was like the original, like Barry, like the four of yeah. them. Yeah. I watched yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Just I hated that guy so much. Yeah, he was so bad, yeah. I used to watch another show that used to come on after that, too. This is just the episode where we talk about reality shows, yeah. apparently. <laughs> but, uh, no, there used to be another show that came on after that called, I think it was Barter Kings or, like, Barter Bros or some shit like that. And it was, like, two guys who would start the episode with a random item. And then they worked their way up? Yeah, like, okay. bartering on Craigslist to see yeah. what they could get or some shit like mm-hmm. that. It was actually pretty interesting. I feel like a better name for that show is Tradesies. <laughs> Tradesies? <laughs> And well, when you host it, you know, yeah, <laughs> which is funny because it's at the funny to talk about that. And then this pops up in my head. There's a guy actually right now who's doing like a TikTok thing where he's trying to trade. He's trying to trade somebody for their Tesla. I forgot who it was. Like he's trying to trade. Oh, he, I think he's just trying to trade for a Tesla or something like that. OK, so he started with something. I forgot what it was. It was just something mad stupid, like a book. And he started trading it up, and now he has, like, an electric guitar, like a $1,300 pro electric guitar. So David Dobrik found out about it, and David Dobrik was like, I'm not going to trade you my Tesla. But he traded the guy, like, a full-on Hollywood tour bus, and that was the last I know about it. So now my guy has, like, a fully operational Hollywood tour bus, and I don't know how he's going to trade that up to a Tesla, but it's very interesting. He'll get there. Yeah. I think he'll get there. That all comes from uh, – there was, like, a TED Talk about it where a guy started with, like, a pen – and he ended up with a house and that was like though and it's like a very like uh a fun like awareness thing yeah and it actually like ended, he ended up like i think it was like the city the, the city gave him a house or whatever like that mm-hmm. in like an honor of him raising awareness for all this shit yeah but from there on out just everyone's you know crazy it's trending <laughs> Funny, I, I don't know why we're just talking about houses today it's yeah like a house episode if anyone wants to trade this remote uh i'll trade this for something for something better than that remote. yeah you know, it's trying not, to get a house it's not my remote <laughs> it's, it's 
it's my mom's actually yeah. Yeah. uh no i was gonna say i was watching a thing on instagram today apparently there's like this guy just to make sure I, if i if this was in our chat and this is where i saw it just feel free to stop me okay but i saw this video of apparently a guy who uh there's like a couple who bought a house like before the pandemic like yeah. in january 2020 uh and they bought the house and they've been paying the house off for like over a year for like 14 months but they can't move into the house because the previous homeowner refuses to leave mm-hmm uh, and he's like staying under some like bullshit, uh, like COVID, like home clause where that says like you can't be kicked yeah, out of your yeah, house. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's a, it's a legit. No one can get it. Yeah, even really. though like the couple bought the house way before the pandemic, like this, that, and the other. But it was mad crazy because they show like footage, like it was an Inside Edition video. So Inside oh. Edition like goes with the couple with like police officers oh, to the house. Oh my god! And they like knock out the door. The door opens, and like the guy just slams it closed. Like the guy's not coming out for fucking anything. I thought that was crazy. That's his, I mean, that happens because like all... I've heard of people squatting and shit like that. Oh, it happens all. But the to time. have a person person who could just like get away with it like that it's fucking insane oh oh um i don't want to tell other people's stories but i know of people of, of a squatter who lived in a dorm for a college oh shit and just like people are just like oh it's a student nope nope homeless person living in one of the dorms that's insane and they can't evict the person because you can't do it <laughs> especially laws in new york that was always like a big problem back wow. in the day like people getting evicted only really finesse the system yeah because you because uh you know how do you just do that yeah. <laughs> you just like come in and you're like all right this is yeah. my pad now it's definitely easier like in the last one when you're the previous homeowner because yeah. then it's easier because then it's like i used to it'd be great if in the college uh example like you did that but with a roommate so like you just come in and the guy's like already there like who are you and you're just like i'm your roommate yeah i've been here for years yeah. dude <laughs> Like, I don't know you. <laughs> what a fuck that honestly, that's a good like sitcom. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like me me and Hobo Jim. <laughs> he moved Hobo in. Hobo Hank. Hobo Hank. He's like, hey. Like you, he's doing homework. He comes in with like McDonald's yeah. garbage. He's like on the table. Hank, I'm doing homework. <laughs> <laughs> the whole audience just goes. All of his lines, he's chewing. <laughs> he doesn't speak like noticeable English. He's just like, no. rah, rah, rah. he speaks like Charles Manson. <laughs> <laughs> we were just watching fucking weird Charles Manson clips before this. That where he's like, I've got a question for you. Flip me, flam, flip me, flip me, flip me, flip me, flip me, flip me. He has such a way with words. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Sandy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was gonna, uh, I was gonna, on the, on the trend of, uh, these reality shows you ever I, I don't even have to say you ever heard of you know the show tanked right yes yeah so tanked show where these guys make incredible fish tanks again fish tanks to, coming to up bring it back right what started it all we're coming yeah. full circle to end this fucking this conversation yeah uh i love tanked always have every time he's on animal planet i just have like a fascination with like aquatic life and like fucking specifically like fish tanks and aquariums and shit like yeah. that yeah yeah I didn't know that. You didn't know about it? That's why no. I love jellyfish so much and like all that stuff. You why you love jellyfish? <laughs> Thanks for being my friend, bro. What? I didn't know any I mean I know you liked it, but like the way you're trying to, I'm like, why well, didn't No, yeah. yeah. It's not to say that like I like obsess over it, but No, like, not it's even a thing. that. Like I don't like beach stuff like that. It's more so like I like learning about the ocean life and stuff like that. I like going to the aquarium and seeing them in the water oh, and stuff like that. I just okay. appreciate that a lot. I'm not really like a don't don't jump jump and call me whatever those people a marine biologist or anything like oh, that. Okay. I just think I find that very fascinating and I love jellyfish a lot because they're mad cool. Yeah. Long story short, I'm I already am, I'm imagining you in full scuba gear. Yeah, for sure. Already, <laughs> so tanked is great. You know, yeah. I love that show. Uh, there was a period of time where me and my girlfriend were watching some other show, and then we needed a show to watch, and I was like, we should watch Tanked, mm-hmm. and she was like, I don't want to watch that. My girlfriend's kind of like the type of person that just like immediately be like, I don't want to watch it without actually like seeing it. Mm. And I know my girlfriend pretty fucking well. Yeah. So I'd like to think that like when I say you're going to like it, she's going to like it. Bro, she fought me on this for so long, dude. She was like, I don't want to watch this. I just I'm not in the mood. Da, 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 da. Some I don't even think we watched it that day because that's how much I was fighting her on it. Somehow, I think it was on already. She came in, bro. She watched like two seasons in that day. Loves that show now. Love tanked. Actually, I, yeah. I love and hate tanked. <laughs> Why do you uh, hate it? 
Uh, cause the show is fake as shit. Oh yeah, well, well, I <laughs> every mean, episode is like oh. the most ridiculous yeah. thing on the planet. Well, yeah, I mean, um, but I love the tank part. I love when they yeah. actually like go and get the fish. I love when they pick them out for the yeah. people. And well, I mean, go, yeah, go I, a lot of reality shows. But uh, I hate when like when they have that. to put in that one extra like plot point that isn't important. They're like, all right, what if in this episode, um. You're just bald. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, we just cut your hair off by accident. You're like, we, we build fish tanks. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's an episode where a drone comes, you know. We're like, going to have an episode where uh, where your dad you, you gets drown. a tattoo, even though he's 85. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> you like, drown in the fish tank. <laughs> and you, you become part of the fish yeah. tank. There's his dead body. It's <laughs> like Coraline. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Yeah, that's a big problem. I mean, a lot of reality shows are fake. So. Yeah. No, I mean, but I, I don't mind that. Because at the end of the day, like, there's fake reality shows that are good because that's the gist. You know what I mean? You know yeah. that from the get, like right? Mystery Diners. Exactly, right? <laughs> like, it's a terrible show, yeah. but it's fun to watch, like, rewatch because it's so shit. Like, yeah. it's so garbage. Yeah. But at the same time, like, you have reality shows that are fake but try to be real. And those are the ones that are shit. Because it's like, you know it's fake already. Why are you trying so hard type of thing? Mm-hmm. And at the same token, I appreciate the ones that are all real. So it's like I either give me the most wacky shit on the planet or give me the most like yeah. serious competitive like series of fucking competition essentially. Yeah, for sure. Don't just give me some half ass thing where it's like they're competing, but then this guy's leg got sawn off or some shit yeah. like that in an accident. <laughs> reality, reality shows are wild, yeah, bro. man. People eat that shit up. When do we when do we make our first reality show then? I don't know. I feel like we make a game show before we make a reality show. You heard it here, guys. Yeah. You guys, you guys heard it. Yeah. Game show before the reality show. I believe in it. What would the reality show be? I don't know where. Bro, it would be a show um we 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 take the podcast on the road. Mm-hmm. Or we have a business where we help people with their podcasts. It's kind of like a Nathan for you, but for podcasts, type yes. of thing. Or we we show up with the, we, with we, with the equipment. We teach people how to use it, and it's people who cannot. <laughs> like we do. We Thanks do. for watching the podcast. <laughs> Me and Dylan are gonna go upstairs and theory craft this real quick. Forget everything like, you just heard here. Yeah, but it has to be like a fake, ridiculous one. No, too. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm already we imagining did, this the in first my head. episode. Podcast with the guy who's mute. <laughs> And we have to get the whole thing. It's like, all right, we need like a uh, text to speech, but it has to be I good. Mean, like a translator. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. But the person who's actually doing it, it's like the text to speech voice. And it's like, well, we need a text to speech voice. That's good. We bring in someone who has a good voice to do the text to yeah, speech. Yeah. <laughs> Every episode is complicated. Get an episode hell. where we do a podcast with the dogs. <laughs> Just get a bunch of dogs in front of microphones. It's like, yeah, um, Spot, he doesn't talk into the fucking mic. <laughs> like, he's like, God fucking damn it, Spot. This is the Come second on. time that fucking Max has been chewing on his XLR cable, and it's getting ridiculous <laughs> at this point, honestly. Those things are not cheap. Yeah. <laughs> and then it just, like, cuts to a dog in the same camera angle, and he just barks once. <laughs> Bark. And we're, we're like, cut, fucking gold, man. Gold, bro. This That's is it. great. Fucking cat, fucking... Cats is next, don't worry. Adding that to the list of shows we have yet to make. <laughs> it's going up there with uh, Chronicles and uh, and Table. But all those other ones are actual shows. This is, like, undoable, yeah. I think. <laughs> this is definitely undoable. It's, but if it, anything, that's sketch material right yeah. there. Oh, you, were, you weren't there last night. I came up with something yeah. that was amazingly sketch material. If you were there, we could have built on it. It was great. I was, I was talking to Jose. He was hanging out here yesterday. And yeah. I was like, I was like, God forbid, what happened? What would happen if I got into, like, an accident? yeah but like no serious like you know physical injuries i'm okay Mm -hmm. but for some reason something happens and now i can't speak anymore i can only scat so whenever i want to communicate i'm just like stupid right but then jose was like bro i love you so much i would visit you every day until i learned how to scat communicate with you (laughs) and then jose was like okay bob if you can understand me give me two bops (laughs) i'm like bop bop he's like okay we'll start (laughs) we're great he shows up oh. like three months later, like stupid be bop and dope. I'm like that wouldn't <laughs> Yeah, I mean he learned the language. Yeah. That's commitment. That's love. It's great. It's like when someone learns sign language, but some scat language. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and fucking Bobby McFerrin. <laughs> what a horrible accident. That's so sad. Like I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the accident that caused that. Like it was like a punch yeah, to the gut to or the, something or to the throat or yeah, some yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You got a, assaulted by a, like a musician or something. Yeah. Oh. Speaking of musicians, it's about that time, buddy. Yeah? Yeah. 
Ooh. I'm having trouble. I still don't know. I told Dylan yeah. I'm between three for the potential jam of the of the week. Jam. Jam. No. I mean, you've got your yams. I've yeah, got I always have. I had like maybe like 90 songs this week, probably. <laughs> A lot of like instrumentals and shit, too. Yeah. I was just like, Jesus Christ, I have to pick one. So what did you stumble on? So I stumbled upon a hyperpop song. Bring it Doesn't back to my roots. Me, but yes. uh, Axel Ocelot by <laughs> Curtains. Cool. Very good song. Uh, every hyperpop artist has decided, what if we just made regular pop music? So Interesting. You know, still kind of sounds a little off. A lot of samples that are fun. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, overall, it's very calm. Nice. Very nice. Soothing. Check out Axel Ocelot. Bring it back to uh, NPR days. <laughs> to get real calm. Yeah. And for my uh, jam, I, <laughs> for my, I was like between, like I said, three songs. Uh, mm-hmm. Not only did. So first off, Dylan sent me a fire song. Yes. That came out of left field. I was playing a game the other night and he just said bob and then put that song in and i was like fires is great fuego mm-hmm. and if you want to check out that song it's called don't do it by yv what is it go finish it and yv and ncc yeah. yeah rapper guy you know kind of like it's it's weird but i love it it's a fire ass beat it's really fast and like dylan we were talking about it earlier the guy raps on it but the instrumental kind of starts off as like an r&b type thing so yeah. you don't think it's gonna be a, a, a rap and then he comes in and you're like oh yeah. shit like i was waiting for and then yeah and then even the the rest of the song is still the same it goes back to yeah, yeah to the, what it to was the, originally the original r like the sample with r&b beat but long story short i did not pick it for my jam no. of the week <laughs> Yo, honestly, fuck this mix. Yeah, <laughs> Straight really up. Bad. Maybe, fuck maybe this you can add some suspense. Right. Right. Like my jam of the week is. Like what was the jam of the week? All right, let's just we honestly speaking, we just cut off like four minutes of discussion. Uh my jam of the week is a Brock Hampton song that just came out. We talked about it in the beginning of the episode. It's called yeah. Buzz Cut. Me and Dylan literally just spent three minutes gushing about how awesome this song is. To recap. Yep. Absolute fucking banger. Super banger. Danny it's really Brown's good. featured on it. Energetic. Reminds us of the old stuff they used to yep. do. We're a little upset that it only features a few members of the group instead of like the traditional everyone, everybody. Which is always great because everyone always ha- should have their part. And I also told him that a, a big prominent sample in the song was actually made from an older Brockhampton song, Bleach, that Kevin, the main guy from Brockhampton, ch- uh, chopped up in an Instagram live. Yeah. It's pretty sick. Too. And their Instagram lives are always really Because cool. you get to watch them like actually make the, uh, the songs. There's been many times where they've made a song or they played a song that went missing. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. Which they have... I want to say two to three albums of just missing material. That, that's interesting because like all of 2020, they just released like those songs onto YouTube. They never like officially yeah. released them, and it was practically like an album worth of songs. It was like eight songs that mm-hmm. they released, and like they're all really good. <laughs> like yeah. three or four of them were bangers. Like they're really fire, but they didn't like release anything officially up until yeah. up until now. It's been a over a year, and we're also blessed. Yeah, and also I previously mentioned before that we got cut off that Royal Blood also came out with the song. It's called Limbo. It didn't make Jam of the Week because Jam of the Week is buzz cut. I don't like how you're getting multiple. I mean, I adopt this song because I love it so much and I love Brockhampton, but I don't like how you get multiple. How you get what? You got multiple jams. I didn't get multiple jams. I'm pr- I just went but through the one. Okay, I'm I went through the ones sure. that could have been Jam of the Week, and then I got to the one that is Jam of the Week because it deserves to be it. Sounds like Jams of the Week to me. It was a difficult. <laughs> it was. It's not jams of the week because there's going to be one fucking album cover when it comes to the graphic at the end of the show. There's going to be one link in the description. It's not like there's going to be three jams. It was just hard to pick this fucking week. There's a lot of good songs. I, I, I got I to find some of my two other yams. But yeah, definitely buzz cut and, uh, and fucking Axel Ocelot. Making yeah. fun of my jams. <laughs> I don't even want to be here anymore. This is your house. <laughs> going home. I'm going home. But you just go upstairs. Bobby, thanks for joining us here for episode 31 of the Joystick Show. We're sorry for the stupid audio issues. We're going to try to get those hashed out for the next episode. That's kind of new. I got to figure out what that's about. Maybe there's a loose wire or something. Maybe it's just Dylan's fault. That could also be it. I feel so Uh, bad now. It's all my fault. It's probably your fault, honestly. Go ahead and check out any interior design show on Netflix. Yeah. They're all really good. Hopefully, we get sponsored by one. That would be amazing. Hopefully, we could make one. Hopefully, yeah. Netflix comes to us and they're like, obviously, these two guys know what they're fucking talking Especially about. Especially with interior design. It would be cool if we could like fly to Malaysia and be a team on the apartment, Bobby and Dylan, right? Oh my God. Like, how sick would that be? The apartment. So, if you guys want to like <laughs> shoot us an invite, that'd be great. I'll go live in Malaysia for a few months with you. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Swat away the mosquitoes. Me and my best friend in Kuala Lumpur. I'm down (laughs) for it any day of the week. Make sure to go ahead and like and subscribe to stay uh, 
stay in tuned with all the stuff mm-hmm. that we're making here. To give a little bit of insight, uh, I didn't mention this earlier in the show. The Chef Sun is returning. It's not gone. Yeah. I ordered some equipment that I'm very excited to come in to further the quality of both the Joystick Show and the Chef Sun. But I bought it from B and H, which is famously like a Jewish run company so at they Passover. Don't... So I'm not gonna get any of that until after Passover. Yes. Which is like April sixth. Even though I made the order. It's funny, I could have paid a lot more money and gotten it in like a week, but let's mm, chill no. a little bit. Yeah. Let's be patient. Yeah. And pretty soon you're gonna get some high quality episodes of both the chefs. I feel like it's better at this point show. if it never comes out. Because <laughs> we're teasing it so much. Yeah, right. Like every week we're like, so Chef Son's not gone. Yeah. But it's just gone. It just never comes out. <laughs> yeah. uh, so realistically, I think my equipment comes in like April 4th, April 5th. Yeah. So I already took, like, the funny thing is, is we already have all, like, we have three episodes ready to it's go. It's all planned. It's, it's just all a ready. matter of getting the equipment ready, getting a day for Dylan to come in and film it. And then, boom, getting into it. We got the first two recipes gone they're hashed out they were submitted uh not submitted but uh suggested i was about to say i was like submitted we suggested from other people which can i submit some horrible recipe (laughs) of course you and your dad make some hard like for you for april fool's day you make like a fake meal (laughs) right (laughs) oh and leave a comment we're trying to get some questions to do like a q a type segment here if you've got a question for either me dylan or the both of us Go ahead and drop it down below, and we'll be ha- very happy to uh, answer that because we're just, nothing, nothing too personal. We though. just want to answer like you know four or five questions. If you want to know about what me and Dylan's biggest fears are in life, mm-hmm. or like you know what our social security numbers are, we'll be happy to give that information out. Do we have any ghost experiences, stuff like that? Yeah, you know exactly. Yeah. Regular normal questions. Uh, so do you have anything to leave this beautiful session with before the mixer dies again? We could like destroy the mixer. We could. Yeah, that's like a good right idea. Now. I'm thinking like office space, just. Show that motherfucker who's Absolutely. Boss. I think I'm doing it right now. <laughs> yeah.